Hi, I'm Julie Fayfan Balzer, and today I want to show you how to design a quilt block in Canvas Workspace for Mac. I'm here in Canvas Workspace for Mac, and I want to show you how to build your own quilt squares in this program. It's really easy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start with a square just from the built-in shapes. And you should make this square whatever size your finished quilt size is gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and let's say my block is gonna be six inches by six inches, okay? So here's my block at six inches by six inches. Now, what do I want it to look like? Well, I'm gonna go through and see all the different shapes that I have to play with here. So how about if we do something, I'm trying to see what strikes my fancy as being a really fun, this is kind of a fun shape. So I'm going to put this here, but of course it's not big enough if I want this to fill the whole thing. So I can actually go over here and also make it six, tab over, and that makes it six by six. So that essentially this is what my block will look like. But you can see that they're not perfectly aligned. So I'm gonna select both parts and go ahead and center and middle align them. And now I know that they're sitting in there perfectly. And if this is what I want my block to look like, that's great. But what if I actually also want, let's say a circle in the middle or a rectangle in the middle or a diamond or anything else? I can go ahead and I can add that too. So let's see, how about Let's do a triangle. And then I can figure out how I want this to work. So for piecing it, what's gonna be the easiest versus the hardest, right? So I can make it so that it touches all of my different edges. Can you see how it touches here, it touches here, it touches here, which means it'll be easier for me to piece these pieces together. Okay, so this is my custom block so far, but the problem is how is the scan and cut going to cut all these pieces out for me, especially if I want them to be different colors of fabric? Well, it's really easy. I'm going to select all of these pieces now that I know that they're perfectly aligned. And then the only other thing you want to check is that you can actually zoom in. Before I do this, I just want to show you. I'm going to zoom way in. See how this triangle doesn't actually cross, but this triangle does? So you want the pieces to actually cross each other in order for this to work. They need to actually touch. So I need this point to actually really make sure that it touches right there. And now see how the bounding box touches there? So now I know it really touches. So now that that's good, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce this again so it fits in my screen. And now I'm gonna select all of it. In the process overlap menu, you can see you have a different couple different choices. I wanna use this one that says divide right here. So I'm gonna click divide. And now I should have my triangle and this piece on the left, and this piece on the right, and this piece from the bottom, and this piece from the side, and this piece from the side. You can see there's some little corners. Let me just move out of the way here. Some little corners that are left in the middle. It's not a big deal, just hit delete. And this looks good. Now this piece is funky, right? It has this weird extension. So if you double click on it, See how it brings up these little nodes? So I'm gonna click on this far node, okay? Then I go up to this one right here that says delete point, and now it is fixed. Similarly, let me double click this and let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see that even better. See how there's like an extra little bump there, an extra little node? So what you can do and see how I like got the, how I was able to click on top and the bottom? Again, is I can just hit minus, and it just is gonna clear away that extra little bit. And you can see the extra little bit on this piece here as well. See that little tiny triangle? So now I'm gonna double click on this, and see how I can see all those points, and I just wanna get rid of that one. 
hit the minus and it's gone. If I really want, I can even hit the minus again so that there's just that one point. And I can do the same thing on this one, just clean it up so that there's only one point. Okay, and now I know that my file is totally clean and looks great. So let's zoom out again. Now I can sort this by color. So I'm going to assume that all of these um, half quarter circles, rather, are going to be the same color. I'm going to assume that this triangle is its own color. And then that I want these pieces to all be the same color. Okay. So I'm going to take a moment just to rearrange these pieces a little bit so that it'll be easier to place um, three different pieces of fabric down. You don't have to do this step. I just think it makes it a tiny bit easier later down the road. Okay, the other thing that I want to do is I want to add a quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm going to use the offset button over here that says create an offset line. And I want to create a 0.25. So it's going to jump around, but you can actually use your cursor and just type in. So that's your quarter inch. I want it to be outward as opposed to inward. You can have them round the corners or bevel. I think bevel's better for quilt piecing. Um, and then the original line I want to set to a drawing line. So that means that blue line, the inside piece, so my machine will draw that and then it will cut where the red line is. And again, I only want it around the outer edge, so that's correct, so I'm gonna say okay. And you can see my uh, this line. Now it's not attached, so let me hit undo. So it goes back. So if you want the two pieces to move together, you need to group them, which you can do just by hitting Command G. And now they are in a group, and you can see that right there, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing with all of these pieces. And you can see how in some places they maybe now overlap, so you've got to do your Command G. This is in Canvas Workspace for Mac. If you were in Canvas Workspace for PC, there'd actually be a grouping option. So because I'm in Mac, there isn't a grouping option. You have to actually just know the keyboard shortcut. Okay, so this looks great. I'm gonna do these last four. And you can see that the defaults stay the same that you already set them until you change them. So it makes it very easy to do. And I'm gonna group each of these. And of course, I want to move them <laughs> apart so that they're not totally on top of each other. Um, I might actually also want to move this piece because it seems like it's going to be hard for me to lay the fabric on the mat so that that doesn't interfere. And then I don't like anything to be super close to that outer red line, so I often just scooch things a tiny bit so that they're more towards the center of the mat. That's just a personal preference. I find that if we, I start cutting too close to the edge, um, sometimes it, I run into some problems. So this just helps me make sure that everything is in good shape. Okay, so I wonder if I should move this piece even more tucked away here. I'm not worrying about straight of grain or anything like that. But if you're a person who does think about those things, then you might want to lay this out differently. Okay, so this looks good enough to save and to send on over. So from file, I'm going to say transfer FCM file via the internet. And then I can go ahead and cut this out and stitch it together.
now here is the finished quilt block just as we designed it so that's super duper cool you can make a quilt and design all the blocks in canvas workspace I love how my little quilt square turned out. I hope that you do too. So for more tips, tricks, and tutorials, please visit my blog at balzerdesigns.typepad.com, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, don't forget about the Scan and Cut website at scanandcut.com. <laughs>